Good morning, Eagles. Today is Friday, October 16th. I'm Lorelli. And I'm Zach. Today we're out and about in Dixieland Lakeland. On this special installment of ENN, we're going to be highlighting some of the things to do here in this area. Stay tuned because ENN starts right, right now. now. Students who have registered for a Florida virtual class must submit the green form to their guidance counselor so that it may be approved. No courses are approved without this form. The forms are in the guidance office. Peterson Park is looking for buddy ball volunteers to help individuals with special needs play baseball. Just come out Tuesday nights to Peterson Park from 5 to 7 to help make this fall ball season a great one for these kids. And yes, service hours are earned. From chai tea to the strongest espresso, Concord has got you covered. Let's head over for a look into Lakeland's newest coffee spot. When we were younger, we thought everyone was on our side. Then we grew a little and romantic. Um, if I had to describe Concord, I would say it's a lot of things. First and foremost, it's a specialty coffee shop in Lake Glen, Florida. We have the opportunity to carry multiple roasters and kind of showcase them through specialty drinks. And I think that our ultimate goal is not only to make incredible coffee, but it's also to introduce the community to amazing coffee and be a place where people can gather and have great conversations, meetings, life-changing experiences, and I think overall add to uh, the creative movement that's kind of sweeping through Lakeland, as you can see with new businesses emerging and new people bringing more to the community than it's been before. I think overall that's kind of the goal here is to add to that. It takes a man to live. It takes a woman to make him compromise. Be in my eye. Be in my heart. Thanks for putting that together, Caroline and Sarah. Next time I get a caffeine itch, I'll definitely head over to Concord. Students interested in being nominated for the Silver Garland Award, sponsored by the Lakeland Ledger, should go to the guidance office to complete a packet. All rough copies of the application will be due to guidance by October 21st. Students will be chosen to represent the categories based on the application. GJHS finalists will be contacted in order to complete the formal application. Riley is right around the corner reporting from one of Lakeland's coolest local and fair trade shops. Day to day we get caught up in school, jobs, and college prep. But have you stopped and remembered to be kind? Luckily, Lakeland has a new ray of light that focuses on just that. Come relax, come shop, come say hello, come to a kind place. We thought, is it silly to name a store a kind place? It doesn't really sound like a store name, but in a world that's just bent on being rude and rushed and hurtful, um, whether it's real life or social media, we thought, how refreshing would it be to have somewhere called a kind place that focuses on just taking a minute to extend kindness, whether it's to yourself or buying a gift for a friend, um, and even showing kindness to the world when you purchase something that's made from someone in another country, you're giving, helping them regain their dignity, um, so a kind place. Our source focus is local art, so we feature a wide variety of art from artists from Lakeland to Tampa, um, some in Orlando, and aside from that we have fair trade or give back companies, so things from all over the world, I can list them all, but it's a lot, um, and things that provide clean drinking water for people and gifts that give back. Kindness is the new black, it goes with everything. A Kind Place is located on 1037 South Florida Avenue, suite number 120. They are opened from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. On Saturdays, they are open from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. and they are closed Sunday. For more information on their merchandise and their mission, go to www.akind.place. Riley Hood, ENN. That definitely looks like an interesting place to shop. Eagles, don't forget to come out to our homecoming game tonight at 7. Remember to wear as much green and gold as you possibly can and watch our team take on Haines City High School. Students taking the PSAT, don't forget that the test will be taking place October 28th. Testing destinations will be distributed closer to the date. Among the various gyms here in Lakeland is Balance Culture, a place that puts a twist on health and fitness. Let's head over to Maddie for more information. 
Move, Nourish, Think. These are the roots of the Balance Culture, a company that revolves around health and fitness. The Balance Culture offers a variety of classes, ranging from relaxing yoga sessions to upbeat kickboxing workouts. The founder, Kirsten Chernick, opened this company after a battle of anorexia and now devotes her life to those in need of a lifestyle change. So the Balance Culture is a place where women come and um, they might be feeling, struggling with insecurity, struggling with um, self-esteem and um, not just feeling good about themselves. And they come here and they work on their fitness. They could be, it could be the first time that they've ever done a fitness class before, but they're working on it. They're on a process and um, taking class, building community, um, having one-on-one -on -one conversations with an instructor. I want it to be a, a different feeling than you get in a normal regular gym or studio setting um, where you build building community and you're leaving feeling like the best version of yourself. Prices for single classes are five to seven dollars and unlimited monthly prices are thirty to fifty dollars. For more information on nutrition classes and pricing visit thebalanceculture.com or find them on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Maddie Middleton, ENN. Thanks, Maddie. That looks like a great holistic approach to good health. Students, don't forget about our great Gatsby-themed homecoming dance tomorrow night. Be safe and have fun. Lakeland was established in 1885 as a small community in Central Florida. From 1885, our city has experienced exponential growth. Now let's head over to see a portion of this progression in the Dixieland area. Originating in 1907, Dixieland began as a suburb in Lakeland and has evolved into a well-known business and shopping district. Founders Henry B. Carter and C.W. Dean purchased 160 acres between Lake Hollingsworth and Lake Morton with the intention of investing in a small, residential, and commercial area. Little did they know that this area would flourish into a notable historic district. The revitalization of Dixieland began with its official historic district designation in 1994. In 2000, the Lakeland City Commission made regulations to preserve the original heritage and culture of the area. Now, this area is home to popular locations such as Fat Maggie's, Concord Coffee, A Kind Place, Petals, Hattie's Branches, and The Balance Culture. Set aside a day to come enjoy this culturally rich area. Leave your car in the parking lot because you can easily walk to the many locations that Dixieland has to offer. Hannah Small, ENN. And what a beautiful city it has become. Students, you have a three-day weekend coming up, so use your extra time and check out this unique part of Lakeland. And that's all we have for you today. Tune in on Tuesday for another installment of Eagle News Network. Have a fantastic Friday and an even better weekend. And don't forget to stay tuned for Channel 1.